The second lesson that I learned is that being consistent is more important than being perfect. So obviously in a less ideal than, less than ideal situation like not being able to work out at a gym or not having a normal routine, working out at home can feel sort of suboptimal. It can feel like it's not enough, especially when you're used to lifting heavier weights and suddenly you have to either find creative ways to make the same resistance happen or make some kind of challenging effect with at-home workouts, sort of always falling short because you just don't have the same access to equipment. Another shift that I went through was going from thinking, okay, I have to do this exactly the way it's written out to doing it the best I could given the situation and giving the uh, given the equipment that I had and sure my workouts weren't as challenging in in the same sort of way I had to find new ways to make it more challenging but another way that made it really important just for everyday life is that even during quarantine I wouldn't always sleep that well or I wouldn't have that great of a day I would be more stressed out because you know you know maybe money was getting short and all of a sudden it was like okay how do we manage our bills whatever it might be that you went through I went through a very similar process where some days I didn't want to work out and I had the luxury of not working out because I didn't have any reason to like I didn't have any reason to stay in shape for you know coaching my clients or I didn't have I, I could very easily just sit on the couch and eat potato chips which definitely happened every now and then I'm, I definitely was not perfect in fact I I think I gained at least uh, you know five to ten pounds during quarantine within the first month because it was sort of like a vacation in a way, right? It was sort of an unplanned vacation. And because food was, you know, you couldn't go out to eat, you would dine in. And it was sort of this like fun period. And as a result, I, I gained body fat. I ate more calories than I consumed. And I certainly wasn't working out to the same degree. So, you know, when I went through that, the mindset of going, okay, I got to get back into a routine. I can't just, you know, I was getting depressed. Like it was very interesting to see how not living the life that I knew was best for me caused me to be more depressed than otherwise might be, you know, thought. Because like at first I thought maybe, okay, this is going to be great. Like I'm going to, I don't have to wake up at 4 a.m. anymore. Like, and then what I realized was, is that my routine was really what made me happy. Having like some sort of structure really made me happy. And when that was gone, I had to create new structure, um, which goes kind of back to the old, uh, the first thing I talked about, which is motivation. You know, you have to create your own routine. No one's gonna create it for you. And in a time like quarantine, where you're not obligated to go to work or you're required not to go to work, you have to create your own routine, which can be very challenging in the beginning because managing your time with so much free time can be a lot more challenging in a lot of cases than having a set schedule where you know you're gonna be working eight hours and then you have to sort of balance everything else around that. So learning to be consistent and not perfect actually got me better results than what I was doing in the past, which was trying to always work with the most ideal situation, which a lot of times was not a consistent, uh, was not, I was not able to stay consistent with that. And so as a result, I was less effective and I got less results. As I started to become more consistent, I started becoming more productive. My workouts started to show more results. My nutrition was improving because I wasn't always trying to always hit this amount of protein, always hit this many carbs. Um, you know, I did my best to hit the amount of calories I needed, but I wasn't always perfect. And having this sort of flexibility where I didn't feel like I was obligated to do the exact perfect thing in order to get the result and still get the result made the biggest change for me, you know, during quarantine.